at home. Hi, meet the Martins, an American family. In the picture, you can see Mitta and Mrs. Martin and their two children, Katie and Dave. They are at home in their living room. You will hear 12 sentences about the picture. For each sentence, mark if it is true or false by putting a check in the box. Number one, it's a bright sunny day. Number two, it's 8.30. Number three, Mr. Martin is reading a book. Number four, Mr. Martin wears glasses when he reads. Number five, Dave is watching TV. Number six. A window is open in the living room. Number seven. The mountains like fat animals. Number eight. They like plants too. Number nine, nobody in this family is interested in books. Number 10, when the Martins watch TV, they sit in another room. Number 11, Carrie is listening to music as she does her homework. Number 12, Mr. Martin is sitting down reading the paper. Listen again, number one, it's a bright sunny day. Number two, it's 8.30. Number three, Mr. Martin is reading a book. Number four, Mr. Martin wears glasses when he reads. Number five, Dave is watching TV. Number six, a window is open in the living room. Number seven, the mountains like animals. Number eight, they like plants too. Number nine, nobody in this family is interested in books. Number 10, when the mountains watch TV, they sit in another room. Number 11. Kelly is listening to music as she does her homework. Number 12. Mr. Martins is sitting down reading the paper. One more time. Number one. It's a bright sunny day. Number two. It's 8.30. Number three. Mr. Martin is reading a book.
number four. Mr. Martin wears glasses when he reads. Number five. Davey watching TV. Number six. A window is open in the living room. Number seven. The mountains like animals. Number eight. They like plants too. Number nine. Nobody in this family is interested in books. Number 10. When the Martins watch TV, they sit in another room. Number 11. Caddy is listening to music as she does her homework. Number 12. Mr. Martin is sitting down reading the paper. Hi again. This is a listening practice from Listen Up by Tan Luang.